If the owners of a certain restaurant in Lawrence didn't know how loved they are before, they know it now. Yeah, the community came together to help the business recover after what some fear was a hate crime. Our Carolyn Long is here to explain how they figured it out. Carolyn. Brad Nellen, this is the sign that has long sat in the window at the Aladdin Cafe on Mass Street in Lawrence, clearly reading in several languages, no matter where you are from, we're glad you're our neighbor. And many worry this may have sparked someone to vandalize that restaurant after closing time on the 4th. You guys killed me. Yeah, but with your yeah. kindness. A steady stream of customers stopped by the Aladdin Cafe today to make sure that owner Mohammed Iskandrani knows how much he is loved in this community. I love you, Mohammed. Right, love him. Sometime between closing time on the 4th and the morning of the 5th, what appears to be a rock was thrown through the large picture window of this Middle Eastern Mediterranean restaurant. I was real sad and sorry to hear about that because uh, Lawrence just isn't that kind of town. It's not typical of how people here think. It's not typical of how people here behave. Obviously not, because once word got out, the Facebook messages and flowers poured in. Plus, we also got a fundraiser started through a customer that we've had here forever. That goal was to raise $1,000 to fix the window. In a matter of a few hours, they had tripled that goal. Lawrence has always been very supportive, a very good place to be. Community members are amazing. The window is fixed already, and as for the sign in the window, it's back and bigger than ever with this gift that came in from Kansas City. Thank you very much. I really appreciated the message on the sign, so I wanted to help enlarge that message when they made the bigger sign. Yeah, so the sign went from this big to this big. Now, no one has yet been charged with this crime, but the Aladdin Cafe is open for business and more appreciative of their customers than ever. In fact, today they ended up serving lunch to everyone for free, just to say thank you. Brad and Ellen. Oh, what a wonderful story, mm -hmm. Carolyn. Thank you.